Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a return worth having. When I say these things, I'm encouraging them to do it. I'm encouraging them to write their dream plan, to do their dream boards, to do their photographing, to do their dream work, and I'm encouraging them to work their plan sort of backwards in their planning stages. You see, you have to know where you're going in order to know where you need to start from. Or where you're starting from, you have to figure out if you can get where you're going. It's almost common to the Cheshire Cat in Alice in Wonderland in that marvelous statement of, there's no point in me telling you where to go when you're not sure where you're going, or something to that effect. I really didn't like the film, and I really bored out of it and stopped watching it. But I do remember that scene, and it was a part of some class of mine, that we had to watch the scene and tell us what we thought it was about. And I just was bored to death in that. But in America, we have the right to study film, and by studying film, we get a lot of education about the world and about the possibilities of technology, and we also learn a heck of a lot about girls. But some of the most marvelous films are actually old Shakespearean romantic comedies like Cyrano de Bergerac that's been put forth several times in Roxanne and then Ten Things I Hate About You and other films like that in which the basic object of our desire isn't really desiring of us because they haven't really thought about what God's house is like. When I talk about God's house, I'm talking about how God's house has many rooms. And in those many rooms, God is watching from above. Now, if we learned that there were aliens out there, really actual aliens flying around in spaceships, and I'm pretty sure I've actually seen an entire lit-up city of one floating overhead long ago. I was like, what the hell is that? But And I know I saw one sort of as a kid flying by with lights spinning around it in the sky, but who knows? It could have been a balloon of sorts, and I didn't know what they were at the time. I was only four or five. But the reality is I remember leaning out the window going, whoa, what's that? The truth is, are we going to feel that way when they land? Are we going to feel like we have our own life in our hands? Are we going to feel like that someone is stealing our life, abusing our life, butchering our life, ruining our past, destroying our future, and literally obliterating our present?